What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. If you're tuning in for the first time, I'd say welcome to my channel. I'm Frances Michelle. So happy that you guys are here. Finally, I am recording another video for you guys. As you all know, I just gave birth to a beautiful baby. He's right there. I'm going to be recording with him because, hello, I have to make it work guys, honestly speaking. Um, as soon as he wakes up for his next feeding, I have to stop, feed him, and then try to come back. So that's how it's going to work. So today's video, I want to share with you guys what I do to get ready, what is my makeup routine, and as well as I want to share with you guys my thoughts on the first makeup purchase of the year. So before we go, if you guys want to subscribe to my channel, hit that subscribe right down there. Be part of my beautiful girlfriend squad here on YouTube. And as usual, don't forget to follow me on my social sites. So let's go ahead and get started with this video. All right, please excuse my pale face. I have not even had time to tan. That is how bad this is. But I haven't even had time to tan. I haven't even had time to do my nails. Like I am just giving you as raw as possible. Like the newborn mom life is a struggle. It's beautiful, but it's a struggle. So in today's video, I want to share with you guys my thoughts on my new purchase of the year. And it's the Through My Eyes palette by I Love Sarai and um, Colourpop. The type of colors that she comes up with is like legit so pretty. So I decided to get this one because I it was the newest collection that launched on... Did it launch in January? No, I don't think it launched in January. I think it launched on December, if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, it was the most recent collection. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it because I love, love, love the colors. So this is the palette. This is what it looks like. It's like that beautiful green. Um, it has these signs or whatever, symbols or whatever. And then it has a huge mirror, guys. Look at that mirror. Okay? And then it has all these colors and I'm just like obsessed. There is 16 colors if I'm not mistaken. One. So it has this beautiful 16 colors. Now I do have to tell you something. Um, I was trying to find, trying to look for the the one she did with those of colors because there's a couple one up here that if you look at it, it kind of reminds you of those colors in her palette and I'm going to tell you which ones they are. This one reminds me so much of that color. Um, it is a little bit deeper deeper um, on the those of color palette. This one reminds me so much of that peach color as well. I mean, of that orange bird color that she had. As well as this one reminds me of that beachy color that she had on her palette. As well as the gold one right here. Reminds me so much of the color. So, but I will definitely look that out for you and see it. But other than that, I've used it a couple of times. Um, the colors I'm going to show you today. And I have to say, they, it does not disappoint, guys. Like, ColourPop is good. I haven't had any issues with their shadows, honestly speaking. So, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and prep my face. I'm going to try to move as quick as possible. So excuse me, just I don't want my baby to fall on. Um, wake up. All right, so let's go ahead and jump in with my conceal my primer. I've been using because I do need it. My under eyes, can you tell my under eyes are like popping right now? The Too Faced Hangover RX um primer because I need this thing. I need this to help me look look alike, Francis. Look sorry guys, I had to put my hair down. I get a lot of headaches. I started to get a headache. I can't put anything on my hair. I haven't been able to put my hair extensions either on my hair because of the headaches that I get. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and jump into foundation. I've been trying so many different foundations lately that I'm trying to find like my right color. But these are the foundations that I've been using lately. As you can see, there's some darker, there's some lighter. It's just I'm trying to find my right shade between sometimes when I get a chance to tan and I'm, now that I'm not tan. So I've been using um, the uh, Estee Lauder. I've been using the Ellie Girls. I've been using... Um, CoverGirl, I've been using uh, NYX, and I've been using the um, Beauty Blender one. So I think today I'm going to be using a mixture of my CoverGirl and a mixture of the LA Girl. And then I grab my Beauty Blender and I blend away. I'm 
for the concealer that I've been using nonstop for since I bought it. It's the Born This Way, the, the Too Faced Born This Way uh, concealer. I am obsessed with this concealer. I actually just recently bought the, pop, the ColourPop one, but I felt as if it wasn't my right shade and at the same time that it was my right shade i felt like it wasn't full coverage and because i do have a lot of sleepless night i need a very full 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 coverage concealer so it hides all these beautiful dark under eyes that i have So I need to really, really pack on concealer because this is just really bad. My concealer is bad. I mean, my under eyes are really, really bad. That look goes to buy, but we're gonna fix this in a minute. I promise. I used to have time for baking, now I don't have time for baking, but I still need to set my concealer. So I'm still gonna be using the same loose powder. I'm using the Derma Blend. Uh, this one is the loose setting powder. I absolutely love it. It is a um, it's a long wear loose powder, so I absolutely love it. So what I used to do, like I said, I used to bake. Now I don't have time to bake. I take a small brush and I pack on a lot of powder on that brush. And I go in and I set my under eyes. Make sure that everywhere that I applied my concealer, I'm setting. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'm gonna jump into my eyebrows and I'm trying to do my brows as simple as possible to be honest but my brows have like a mind of its own and i hate but i am using um the it cosmetics brow powder at the moment it is way easier if you use a pencil either the anastasia the nyx or even the CoverGirl, which i absolutely love i just haven't been able to find my my shade lately but that will be easier than to use a powder and a brush i recommend using a pencil so i'm trying to leave them as natural as possible because um this looks that i'm doing are very very natural so just pretty much filling them in where I see that it needs it. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the eyes. We're gonna go ahead and use her palette, like I said. I'm going to be using the colors that I've been using lately, which is gonna be a very simple look, as you can see. I'm gonna be mixing the color Wild Soul and Euphoric, which are these two right here. This one first, and this one together. Like I said, I love mixing things, I don't know why. Thing. With a big fluffy brush, I'm going to start with the Wild Soul and pack that on the top part of my crease. You see how pigmented that is? Look how beautiful and just so smooth. Blends, they blend amazingly. So this part, I'm just going to place it on the highest part of my eye. I want that orange to show, as you can see. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and go with the Euphoria color, which is that darker burnt orange. And I'm going to apply that on my crease. I'm not going to go as high as I did with the other one. I'm just going to stay that. I'm just going to concentrate that on my crease. And I'm going to use the color Muse right here. 
a beautiful gold color i like this one better than the one on the top i feel like the top is a little bit more like dramatic than what i'm trying to go for so i just grabbed that Then I'm going to use a smaller brush and I'm going to use that same one that I used on the top and I'm going to mix it with the one in the bottom and I'm using that as my bottom part. I feel like this here ties the whole look together when you do the bottom part of your eyes. Do not forget the bottom part of your eyes, ladies. All right, so now we're gonna grab the same color and I'm gonna use, I'm sorry, that same brush and I'm gonna use the color Lucido right here in the corner, which has, is that beautiful shimmery champagne color. And I'm gonna apply that on the inner corner of my eye. I'm going to be using um, the Makeup Geek uh, Eyeliner. It's in the color brown. And we are going to use do this really quick and easy. I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm just going to draw a line on top of my, um, very close to my lash line, just a line and that's it. And I'm going to grab a small liner brush and I'm going to smudge it so it makes it look a little bit more dramatic. So I'm just going to draw a line. It doesn't have to be perfect. just a a line like i said it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to smudge it out smudge smudge it out i'm just going to go in with this liner and now because i don't and now because i don't have time to put um falsies i'm going to pack on mascara guys this is one of my tricks Pack on mascara. I'm going to do a primer mascara. Then I'm going to do a lifted by Tarte. And then I'm going to top it off with my Maybelline Total Temptation. And I'm going to do a lot on the top. And I'm going to do a lot on the bottom. And I'm going to come back. And I'm going to go ahead and finish my face. Okay. All right. So Mommy Jody's over for now. He's right there. And he's smiling for now. All right. So I packed on a lot of mascara. have a lot of mascara on. And I try to do as much as I can. Like I said, you're not wearing lashes, so mascara, 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 mascara is going to make your your eyes look brighter, I mean, um, larger, and it's going to make you look a little bit more awake rather than you spend, like, all your night, like, <gasps> sitting. But, okay, so now we're going to move into the, um, to the face. We're going to warm up this face face because it's kind of, like, pale. So I'm going to do contour, and I'm going to bronze as well, but I'm going to do it together. It's very, it's very easy. So I'm going to be using the Contour, the Shade in Life palette by Kat Von D. And then I'm going to do a little bit of warmth on top with the ColourPop, um, it says blush, but it's actual, um, it's like a bronzer. But it kind of looks too orangey on my skin, so I like to combine, that's why I said I like to combine it with this one right here. And I'm going to start with the Contour line. And then I'm going to continue on top with the bronzer. Just like that. All right, so then to finish off my face, I like to... Get back, stop back, I'm right here. I'm just gonna carve out this part right here. I'm grabbing again the same brush with the uh, loose powder and I'm sort of just carving out that contour a little bit more so it looks a little bit better. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to the lips guys and I'm going to be using from her collection, uh, I think it's called Dulce de Coco. 
Yep. No, sueño de coco. I thought it was dulce de coco. I'm gonna be using sueño de coco. It's a little bit darker than I would rather do like a nude lip with this look. But it's still a beautiful color and um, it lasts all day long. Alright, and to finish up, we're going to do highlight, and I'm going to do the Artist Couture Illuminati Highlight. He's like, he's like, what are all these lights, mommy? You do something with your hair, boy. All right, guys, so there you have it. This is the look that I do. Um, it looks it looks like it's harder than what it looks like, but it's not, guys. Honestly speaking, as you guys can see, I did it very quick, quickly. Um, I did it very quickly. It's very easy. Once you already know how to do it, how to work with it, and how to play with it, you will definitely know um, that you will not take that long of a time. I don't take a long time doing this makeup look. I do have to stop here and there to be a mom, as you can see with my baby boy. Hey, hi, hello. <laughs> um, but honestly speaking, this is the color. This is my go-to look when I'm going out and I try to look a little bit glam, like maybe for Sunday at church. Um, what do I have to say about the palette? The palette is amazing. Like I said, it has 16 shades, and ColourPop never ceases to disappoint. ColourPop always has great, um, like, great colors. Like, they always have great colors, and the pigmentation in them, it's amazing. So, I highly recommend the palette. The palette is amazing, guys. I recommend it if you haven't picked it up yet. It is great. It has beautiful colors. And I love the fact that it has a huge mirror. So, when I'm going out, if I ever have to pack for somewhere, I will definitely take that palette with me because it has beautiful colors. It has to do a very subtle color makeup look or also you can do like a glam out color looks so anyways guys i gotta go i have to go be a mom to this one right now he's demanding a lot of attention hey hey he's demanding a lot of attention from me as you can see right now but like i said i'm going to be trying my best to film these videos for you guys oh you want to stand already you want to stand you want to stand <laughs> um it's I'm going to be trying to do more videos for you guys, um, maybe with the appearance of this little guy, because he doesn't let me do anything, as you can see, but I don't mind. I love it. I love it. I love it. Say bye. Say don't forget to subscribe to my mommy's channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe. <laughs> don't forget to hit that thumbs up um, button right down there if you liked the video. If you want to see more videos of me, let me know down below what you guys would like to see. And as usual, don't forget to follow me on my social sites. Instagram is where you will find me. Thank you guys so much for your love. Thank you for your support. Thank you for bearing with me through this mommy video. <laughs> I hope you enjoy the content. And yeah, say bye. I'll see you ladies on my next video. Say, how you doing? No, he's not having it. Say, how you doing? Whoa. <laughs> bye. Are we done? Yes, we are. Mommy, we're done. Mommy, we're done.